Here's the thing. This new image out of Thailand should not look like this. When you run a comet through a Larsen second rotational gradient, you expect symmetry, noise, maybe a faint, diffuse tail. Nothing dramatic, nothing directional. But what you're seeing here is neither subtle nor symmetric. A bright, sharply defined structure is pointing straight toward the sun, not drifting, not fading, not breaking apart. It's holding its shape, frame after frame, like something pushing outward with precision, not randomness. Look closely at the center. The inner coma isn't a soft, rounded glow. It's stretched, pulled, shaped by something inside 3i Atlas that is forcing material sunward in a way comets simply don't behave. Even after two full weeks of observations, the orientation hasn't flipped, the feature hasn't dissolved, the silhouette hasn't collapsed into noise. If this were processing artifact, the direction would scramble from image to image. If it were dust, it wouldn't stay this coherent. And if it were solar radiation pressure, the feature would point away from the sun, not toward it. So right from the first frame of the night, the message is impossible to ignore. Whatever 3i Atlas is doing, it's doing it again, and it's drifting farther away from anything comet physics can explain. Now let's put the December 7th and December 9th captures side by side. When you compare them, the pattern hits you immediately. The December 7th frame shows a small, tentative sunward feature. It's faint, almost shy. The jet barely extends past the nucleus, and the secondary structure on the opposite side is nothing more than a whisper. If you didn't know better, you might dismiss it as noise. But the December 9th image, taken only 48 hours later, obliterates that doubt. The same structure is still there, pointing in the exact same direction, but now it's longer, brighter, sharper, and the plume has clearly split into two components, a main sunward spike and a strengthened counterfeature widening into a clean V-shape. Here's what stands out when the two frames are aligned. The direction didn't change, the axis matches perfectly across both nights. The brightness increased, this is a real physical source, not processing noise. The structure expanded, the sunward plume is nearly twice as long in the December 9th frame, and the symmetry improved. Now both sides of the feature appear clearly, not just the primary plume. This is the part that breaks with standard comet behavior. Dust fans rotate, gas jets wobble, viewing angles shift, everything changes. But this? This holds its line like a fixed engine. Two nights, two telescopes, same direction, stronger signal. Whatever 3i Atlas is doing, it's doing it deliberately. Now let's zoom into today's raw frames, the grayscale, the inverted view, and the color-enhanced map. Together, they reveal a story the naked eye would completely miss. Start with the left panel. The nucleus is a tight, razor-focused point. No fragmentation, no messy halo, no signs of a crumbling core. If you only looked at this, you'd assume 3i Atlas was a perfectly ordinary comet cruising silently through deep space. Move to the middle, the inverted view. This mode normally exposes subtle disruptions, but again, the core remains shockingly intact. Nothing spilling outward, nothing scattering, nothing that even hints at the strange sunward structures revealed in the rotational gradient images. And then you hit the right panel, the color-enhanced map, and everything changes. Suddenly, the outer halo lights up asymmetrically. The brightness stretches toward the sun more strongly than in the antisolar direction, exactly opposite of how cometary physics works. Comets brighten away from the sun, where dust gets pushed outward. But here, the excess intensity is on the forward-facing side. That mismatch, tight stable nucleus, quiet interior, directional outer brightening, is a massive red flag. If 3i Atlas were breaking apart, the core would look chaotic. If it were venting normally, the antisolar tail would dominate. If this were noise, the direction wouldn't line up across all three processing modes. But none of that is happening. Instead, the nucleus remains incredibly stable. The halo brightens in the wrong direction, and the color map confirms that real energy is being injected into the sunward region, quietly, 
consistently without disturbing the core. That's not comet behavior. That's not interstellar object behavior. And yet, 3i Atlas keeps doing it. Now we jump to Italy, where Tony Scarato captured two new frames that match the Thailand data perfectly, even though they were taken with entirely different telescopes, filters, and processing styles. On the left, the natural light stack shows a faint but unmistakable forward brightening, sunward. No splits, no chaotic debris, just a dense core with a subtle but persistent push in the same direction. On the right, the rotational gradient brings the hidden structure into full clarity. The nucleus, about 4,000 kilometers across in this scale, is extremely tight. But the sunward extension is unmistakable, sharp, focused, not bending, not dispersing, not drifting like dust. The antisolar tail points exactly as expected, but this feature points toward the sun, just like the Thailand data from both December 7th and December 9th. Different country, different telescope, different night, same structure. So here's where we stand today. Multiple observers, across continents, across nights, using different equipment, and all of them are detecting the same forward-facing structure on 3i Atlas a feature that shouldn't be this stable, shouldn't be this coherent, shouldn't be pointing toward the sun with this kind of precision. Something is driving this object, something we don't have a name for yet. And whatever it is, it isn't behaving like a normal interstellar comet. But before we close tonight, there's one more detail that observers are quietly debating behind the scenes, something that hasn't made it into the public reports yet. Over the last 72 hours, a handful of amateur astronomers tracking 3i Atlas have noticed extremely subtle fluctuations in brightness that don't match gas venting, dust release, or any known solar-driven activity. These aren't random flickers. They rise and fall in smooth intervals, almost like a repeating pulse layered beneath the visible halo. Now, to be clear, this isn't a claim, just an observation. But when multiple observers in completely different parts of the world detect the same rhythm within a narrow time window, you have to wonder what could cause that. Comets don't pulse like this. Their brightness changes when they rotate, fracture, or cross temperature thresholds, not in tightly timed microcycles. Now, I want to hear what you think. Is this just an unusually active nucleus? A jet caught at the perfect angle, or is 3i Atlas hinting at something entirely different? Drop your thoughts in the comments, I read every single one, and if you want to follow this object night by night as it evolves, hit like, subscribe, and share this video with someone watching the 3i Atlas story unfold. We're just getting started.